one of our souls was a suitor for Madame Beau. How many secrets does that woman have? I'm stoked for Ermac. I gotta keep it real. What's up? It's your boy Dynasty back with some more MK1 Mortal Kombat Uno because hot off the wire this morning, the man, the myth, the legend, the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon, over on Twitter on X, came out and shared that new intro dialogue between Ermac and Kung Lao. If you look closely, Movado is also just chilling in the background alongside Ermac that we saw from our tease from just a few days ago. They keep teasing Movado, but he's not talking about Movado today. Boone came out and gave us the whole rundown on the story of Ermac, so I'll be breaking that down for those who have been living underneath a rock and don't know who Error Macro is. I'll be taking you to school. Now, before we break all that stuff down, if you could do me a solid, please, it takes a second. Drop a like on the video. Really looking forward to Ermac, you know, the gas characters in this combat pack. You know, not really my thing. I'm really hyped on Ermac, just like I was hyped for Quan Chi. Really hyped for Takeda. Cool to see that they're actually listening and they're giving us things like a mask for Ermac. So I can only imagine the gameplay is going to be next level stuff. So looking forward to Ermac. And if you are too, hey, do me a solo. Take a second, drop a like. Solar Eclipse today. Because of Ermac. Not really, but without further ado, let's uh, see what Ed Boon had to say about Ermac when he dropped this uh, new teaser you saw at the beginning of the video. He said, 30 plus years ago, we were working on the very first Mortal Kombat game. The game's software had sections of code that it theoretically should never reach or execute. If it did, it incremented a counter that would log the error. We also made a game audit screen where we could check the counter in arcades. To keep each log short, I wrote an assembler macro that would call all the necessary functions in one line of code. The macro was called ERMAC, short for error macro. Dun dun dun! And the red ninja was essentially born. Unfortunately or fortunately, that's funny, we listed the number of ERMACs that occurred directly after the log slash number of times players fought against Reptile, this is back in the MK1 days, who was a hidden fighter back in Mortal Kombat. This, of course, made players speculate that Ermac was another hidden character like Reptile. Soon, rumors of Ermac became stuff of legend, with players insisting they fought against them. They didn't. What I would do to be a fly on the wall at like an arcade back in the 90s and hearing some dude there being like, oh, you know, I actually fought against that hidden character, Ermac. Like, I wonder what the descriptions of Ermac initially were. I wish we could just go back in time, some Back to the Future shit, figure that out. That'd be great. Um, if you were around at that time and you were taking part in those conversations, please do leave a comment down below. What was the legend of Ermac? Everyone talks about the origin story, but no one ever really talks about the uh, things that were being said in the uh was there even an fgc back then in arcades across america in mortal kombat 2 we made reptile a playable fighter and added three new hidden fighters smoke jade and noob cybot but some players were still looking for ermac for mortal kombat 3 we decided to turn some of the myths into reality starting with animalities. Finally, in Ultimate MK3, we were running out of colors, and we finally added Ermac as an actual red ninja fighter in the roster. Over the years, he has made a number of appearances in Mortal Kombat games. Now he has a full story slash history and is part of the Mortal Kombat lore. We never, as in ever, would have guessed this red ninja with a ridiculous name would end up as such a big part of Mortal Kombat's history and still be kicking over 30 years later. But here we are, and he's about to join the roster of Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay trailer this week. So shout out to Boone for the whole origin story. Always cool to revisit the old secrets of the official MK 90s. Love that stuff. And Boone continued, he shared this right here. Here's the game audit screen from the original Mortal Kombat arcade game that includes the number of Ermacs in the game, right along with Reptile. And you can see here, game audits, highest battle reached, 
winning streak reset count, different characters picked, same characters picked, Goro wins, Goro loss, Shang Tsung beaten, reptile appearances, reptile battles, and at the very bottom, Ermax, which funny enough is in hot pink. Hot pink is the, the new red, red is the new hot pink. I. What if Ermac was hot pink? That would have been honestly pretty based. Goes on to say, decades later, Ermac has become a staple in Mortal Kombat's history, often appearing as cosplay at conventions. Look at this MKX Ermac, mummified Ermac, which, you know, I, I, I feel like people think I hate mummified Ermac. I, I don't hate it too much. It was just the way it was presented in the initial combat pack trailer. He just looked like Martian Manhunter. Going back to the days of like the 3D era with like the, you know, bandages across his face. Um, I don't mind necessarily Mummified Ermac, but him with the mask is just, come on, he's a ninja! Boone goes on to say, Some players love Ermac so much they put tattoos on their body of him. That's dedication! Here's a picture of Dynasty finally coming through with his promise of getting a Sub-Zero tattoo! At the Mortal Kombat reveal event! That's some Dynasty lore for you, but that's actually a pretty uh, interesting looking tattoo. Woo! Shout out to TMK! Total Mortal Kombat came out and said, I remember when I asked that Boone about Ermac at E3 in 2008, I got all the details, and Boone actually saw this clip shared by Total MK! Thanks for finding this ancient interview, let's watch it! Let's see what Total MK said back in 2008, shout out to the OG, the very first Mortal Kombat content creator on the platform. Shout out to Total MK again for sharing that clip from way back in the day. Again, if you don't follow Total MK, dude is the OG when it comes to Mortal Kombat content creation. Been around since uh, the Earth was created. Not really, but <laughs> forever. I love you, Total MK. Inspired me to make content, but there you go, guys. There you go. Hot off the wire this morning, Ed Boon sharing this intro dialogue with Ermac versus Kung Lao. Gameplay trailer dropping this week. I wish I knew an exact date, which is uh, kind of funny how they're just leaving that in limbo. It could be tomorrow. It could be the day after tomorrow. It could be the day after tomorrow's tomorrow. It could be any time this week. So keep an eye out for that. Of course, when that trailer drops, you already know I'll probably have a reaction here on the channel. I'm excited for Ermac. This is a character that I used so much back in in UMK3, back in Mortal Kombat Deception, his cheese move, was it what, back two? I think it was back two with the axe. If you guys watch my Conquest mode, Let's Plays, or any of my streams, we're playing the 3D era games, you know my love for Ermac runs deep. I love Ermac. But anyways guys, that is all I got for y'all today. What do y'all think of this? Are you excited for Ermac in Mortal Kombat 1? You're like me? What is your Ermac uh, origin story? Let me know. Shout out to Boone. Shout out to everyone else. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Dynasty being positive of Mortal Kombat 1, the day of a solar eclipse. Crazy things happening. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.